That is an obstruction of Congress. It's the usurpation of Congress's role to decide whether to have an impeachment inquiry, and it's a decision to completely try to frustrate that uh, inquiry by denying all participation, by denying all documents and all witnesses without asserting any privileges. There's nothing to do with privileges. Privileges may be adjudicated in court. And there's an assertion by the executive that the... Boy, well, you guys are pulling shit out of your ass for this one, I bet. ...exercised by Congress is an obstruction of Congress, and if allowed to get away with it, eliminates the power of impeachment as a check on the power of the presidency and is a large step toward dictatorship. Because the threat of impeachment is the only threat, the only enforcement mechanism that Congress has on a president who would usurp powers and destroy the separation of powers, especially given the Department of Justice's policy that a president, sitting president cannot be indicted and the administration's assertion that he cannot even be investigated criminally. That leaves only impeachment as a remedy and as a check on presidential power. And if you don't want a dictatorship, you have to allow Congress to exercise the power of impeachment. And the Congress has a sole power, the House has a sole power of impeachment, which means we have the right to get the documents we demand may you? be subject to certain privileges, but that's not an issue here because no privileges have been asserted. Instead, what has been asserted is that the executive has the right to determine that they will that the impeachment inquiry is invalid. They usurp the role of the House. This is an assertion of tyrannical power. That's why we must... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Don't stumble now. ...on this article <coughs> to, let, to, 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 to go along with this amendment get rid of Article 2 and say it is, in effect, it is permissible for the president to deny the impeachment power of the House is a long step away from constitutional government, a long step away from any control over the power of a president, and a long step toward tyranny. I oppose the amendment. I yield back. Mr. Chairman, would you They haven't got all the documents from Trump's administration. But yet they have the whistleblower for all this. I just wanted to ask, but come to find out, through all this crap, all of this going the on, they are not getting Trump for collusion, corruption. They're getting him for obstruction of justice. If a uh, privilege were asserted, I'm not willing to say that you couldn't mount a, uh, an impeachment based on, on overboard oh. assertions of privilege. But no privileges have been asserted. There's nothing for a court to review. All that the president has said is oh. there will be no, he has directed everyone in the executive branch, do not provide a, a piece of paper, do not testify. There's nothing for the court to review. He, he has simply asserted that the Constitution, that he doesn't recognize the constitutional power of Congress to impeach. He won't recognize it. He thinks it's an invalid. See, this has got not nothing to do with Russia anymore. Absolutely nothing. They brought in Russia and all this stuff that they needed to, to learn about with this whistleblower, and then they opened up a can of worms and are catching him for obstruction of justice and obstruction of Congress because they won't. The White House won't give these guys all the information so that they can really try to nail him from nothing. But to, in order to nail him for to Trump for nothing, they found out that they can't get him for anything, so they switched their tune, and now they're getting him for obstruction. Oh, my frickin', I don't know what... Uh, Article 1 is bribery or something or other. My goodness, people. It's all a ruse. These elites right here in this picture are gazillion fucking heirs. They got more money than Jesus H. Christmas Christ himself. And these clowns right here are fighting amongst themselves for no reason other than, wow, we don't know what to do with gun control. What do we do with abortion next week? Uh, oh, our medical facilities down here are no good. The VA is still falling apart. At the hospital, you can still die at the VA, whatever they were doing. No, we're farting around with this fucking shit of these clowns. Oh, he did it. No, he did it. Well, if he didn't do it, then who did it? Well, he's lying. Freaking where are you people starting to make me sick, can you tell?